oldest son of the third Duke of Gandia, Francis Borgia was born in the family castle in Valencia. Like other young nobles, he too was trained for a life at court. In 1529, he married Eleanor de Castro, who bore him eight children during the next 10 years. They lived in great familiarity with Emperor Charles V and Empress Isabella until the Empress unexpectedly died on May 1, 1539. Her death led directly to Borgia's conversion when he accompanied the funeral cottage to the burial place in the Royal Chapel in Granada. When the coffin was opened, he saw not the beautiful face of the 36-year-old queen, but a face beyond recognition. Not wanting to serve another master who would die, he began to devote himself to prayer and penance. Francis became the fourth Duke of Gandia after his father died in December 1542. He returned to the family palace to manage his estates. But when his wife Eleanor died on March 27, 1546, he resolved to dedicate the rest of his life to God's service. He was familiar with the Jesuits, having founded a Jesuit college in Gandia and being a personal friend of Father Peter Favor, whom he had asked to inform Ignatius of his decision. Ignatius welcomed him to the society, but recommended that he tell no one until he settled his children and finished studying theology. Meanwhile, Ignatius encouraged Borgia to continue living as a noble man. Borgia pronounced his vows as a Jesuit on 1st February 1548. After living as a Jesuit from the end of October until early February 1551, he returned to Spain where he resigned his title in favor of his eldest son, Carlos. As soon as he received the Emperor's letter accepting his resignation, Francis donned the Jesuit cassock. For a few years, Borgia worked as an ordinary parish priest. In 1554, he was named Commissary General in Spain with power over provincials in Spain and Portugal. He founded Spain's first novitiate at Simancas and set up over 20 schools. His final project was a mission to Spain accompanying Cardinal Michel Bonelli in an effort to secure Spain's help against the Turks. Later, Borgia left Spain for France to continue the diplomatic mission, but he fell ill from fever and pleurisy because of an unusual cold. His final illness lasted three days before the 62-year-old general died during the night of September 30th, 1572. On his feast day, we pray that Saint Francis Borgia may inspire us to realize the value of heavenly treasures more than the earthly ones. Saint Francis Borgia, pray for us.